Rob's World. Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob, and welcome to my tutorial for the Bomb Glider and Eagle. So today I'm going to show you how to make two different gliders. One is called the Bomb Glider, and I call it that because it involves making a water bomb base. The cool thing about this plane is that it's actually a trick plane. You can actually fold the wings and uh, bend them up in such a way that the plane can do flips, do spins, and actually come back to you if you throw it right. The other plane is called the Eagle, and this is a really nice flying glider as well. I know I've been away for quite a while on hiatus. I'm not going to go into that now, but maybe a little bit at the end of the video, and I might have a separate update video as well. For now, I know you guys want to learn something new and have a new tutorial, so without further ado, let's get started. We could start out with an 8.5 by 11 letter-sized paper, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the bomb glider first. If you'd like to learn how to make the eagle first, then you can go to this time here on the bottom. We're going to hold the 8.5 by 11 letter size paper in a portrait orientation and then take the left side edge and fold it across to the right side edge. Make sure that the edges are aligned perfectly and once they're aligned you can just hold it there on the right side, bring your finger across and then give that paper a nice crease up and down the left side. You can also run your fingernail against it gently to make sure that crease is extra sharp. Then you can unfold the paper and you'll see you have a vertical line that runs up and down the paper. We're now going to take the upper left corner of the paper and we're going to fold it so that the top edge here is aligned with the right side edge. Just like you would to make the paper into a square, like I do in my other videos. Again, once the edges are aligned, Hold it there, and then you can crease the upper left portion of the paper. And again, run your fingernail against it. Open up the paper. Now you're going to do the same with the right side. Take the upper right corner of the paper and bring it down so that this top edge is aligned completely with the left side edge. Okay, so when you open it, You'll notice that we have an X in the paper and we also have that vertical line that runs down the middle of the paper as well. So what we're going to do now is if you remember how to make the water bomb base, we then take the edge of the paper and fold it down to the other edge. So take the top edge of the paper and fold it down until you see this diagonal line. It's going to basically overlap perfectly with these diagonal lines, okay? So basically, we're just taking the X and folding just the X in half. And if you did it correctly, you'll notice that I basically have a triangle here, and the point should be right on the edge of the paper, okay? So when you open it, you basically have a horizontal line that goes through the middle of the X, okay? Make sure that the crease is nice and sharp. Then we're going to basically make the water bomb base from this portion. Lift up the right side of the paper, like this, and you're going to tuck this edge into the middle. Tuck it in and you'll see you have a flap here, okay? All you need to do is just push down on that and flatten it out. Do the same with the left side. You might have to pop the paper out if it gets a little caught like that, but it should fold directly on those creases that you made previously. So when you're done, you should have something that looks like this. And this is basically the water bomb base, except it has this extra um, piece of paper on the bottom. Okay, so you have the two top flaps and the two bottom flaps which are attached to the rest of the paper. Now that we have the water bomb base, we're going to take the top of the triangle and fold it down to this edge of the paper here, directly in the middle. You might have to round it off a little bit right there, because it's kind of thick. 
fold it down, and when the tip is on the edge, just give it a nice crease on the top. Okay. So now, if you take a look here, you'll notice that inside the tip here, we have a pocket here on the right side, and we have a pocket here on the left side. What we're going to do is we're going to take both of these little flaps or tips here, and we're going to tuck them in there. So to do that, we're going to take this edge and align it with this edge by folding the paper in half along this vertical line here, like this. Give it a nice crease on the right side. You could do the same with the left side. And then you can give it a little fold up along this edge here. Just like that. Unfold it, do the same with the left side. Then what you can do is you can open the pocket on the right side, give this a little bend, and tuck that tip of the corner into that pocket right there. And then you could flatten it out. Do the same with the left side. Okay, it might not go in all the way, that's not a big deal. Okay, something like that. Then you can flatten it out. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold the plane in half along this vertical line away from you. So you're going to basically give it a mountain fold along the vertical line right here, like this. Okay. Give it a good crease on the base here. So you have something like that. We're going to fold the wings down. And the way that we do this is we're going to fold this part right here in half. So you're going to fold right about there. And you'll see this part of the paper should meet up with the very bottom of the paper here. So all you need to do is to fold this in half like this by rounding it off. And you'll see that it should meet up with the bottom right there. Okay, do the same with the other side. Okay, then what I like to do is I like to just hold this part right here. And you can crease these two top parts gently, the top of the wings gently so that they kind of line up together. And then do it a little bit harder, like that. And that's the basic design of the glider. Now there's different ways to make the wings um, become more stable, stabilization, and I'm going to show you that after I show you how to make the other plane. The Eagle is another pretty simple glider to make. Again, we're going to use an 8.5 by 11 letter sized paper, and you're going to take the left side and fold it across to the right side, just like we do with the other one, and in most paper airplane models. Line up the edges and make a crease along the left side there. And we're going to unfold it. And we're going to take both of the top corners and fold them into the middle so that the top edge here is aligned with that vertical line. Just set up something that looks like this. Now we're going to fold the tip of the top of the plane here down to the edge here. So just fold it down and give it a crease on top so that it looks like that. Then you can unfold it. And now we're going to take this whole triangular portion of the plane and we're going to fold it down. So we're basically going to make a crease downwards along this edge of the paper here, this line made by these two edges of the paper. So just fold down the plane along this edge and then make a crease on the top. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these two top corners and we're going to fold it so that the point here, the corner, goes right into the intersection made by this crease and the vertical line. So you're going to fold it in until the point of the corner there lies right there on the intersection. And then give it a crease on the right side. Do the same with the left side. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to fold the point right here upwards again until it basically hits against the edges here. So right about here, just like that, fold it up and it should kind of lock these two um, corners in place and give it a nice crease on the bottom. Now we're going to take the top of the plane and we're going to fold three quarters of an inch down. Just like that. And then you're going to make a crease on the top. Now you might have to just hold everything down and recrease this edge here and recrease the other edge because when you fold down the top it kind of pushes the paper a little bit. Okay? So just make sure everything's nice and flat basically. Now you can fold the whole plane down away from you on the vertical line. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top edge here of the wing and you're going to align it with the bottom here. and then give it a nice crease along the top of the wing here. Now you could do the same with the other side. Fold it down. Might want to round it off here again. My little edge here got a little crumpled. And there you go. Now you have the eagle, which again, we can add some stabilization. And we have the bomb glider. To throw the bomb glider, there's a lot of different ways you can throw it and configure the wings. If you just leave it the way it is, right after you finish folding, it'll fly, but it won't exactly have the stability that it will if you adjust the wings. So just throwing it like that, in the bowl. If you just take it, right after you fold it, and fold the wings down like this and leave them folded down and you throw it it'll kind of do some spins in the air. Now for some stabilization and adjustments to the wing. What you want to do to do the basic stabilization is to take each of the wings and you're going to fold the edge up about a half of an inch like that and then make a good crease so that it looks something like this and it's vertically inclined. Do the same with the other wing by folding it up about a half of an inch and now you'll notice that it should have more stabilization when it flies. A couple things that you can do though to play around with it one of them is to take the corners of the wings and to fold them up like this so that the plane looks something like this. This will actually make it turn a little bit. Some other things you can try is just taking the wings and folding one up like this, maybe like an inch or so, folding the other side down. As far as the eagle is concerned, there's not really many tricks you can do with it, but right after you fold it, it'll actually glide pretty well, just like that. So again, just hold it by here and just throw it really gently. As far as stabilization is concerned with the eagle, I found that it's better if you fold the ends of the wings down about a half, um, a half an inch, like that. 
and then you can throw it gently. Thank you guys very much for watching my tutorial for the bomb glider and also the eagle. If you did enjoy it, please rate by clicking the buttons down below. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button above or below, wherever it is now, I don't even know. Uh, I know I've been away for quite a while and I did graduate dental school, so technically I'm a dentist now, Dr. Rob. I don't know, I'm not going to make you guys call me that or anything. Um, but I'm doing a residency now at a hospital, and I started back in July, so I'm going to be um, continuing that until June. And after June, hopefully, I will uh, find a place where I can work and practice. I have some other things that I want to share with you guys, uh, some updates that I'll probably have in another video. And uh, I also have some more tutorials that I want to teach. I'm definitely not leaving YouTube. I'm here to stay. So I appreciate you guys waiting for me and showing your support and um, just inspiring me to keep going. I really enjoy the feedback and, and reading your guys' comments. If you guys find some cool ways to modify the wings of the plane and you videotape it, definitely put it in the video responses below and I might feature it in my next video. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Just right after folding, you could throw it and it'll glide pretty well.